The 10 things you missed in Baki begins with Yujiro Hanma's mother, the grandmother of Baki and Jack, who is this person. In chapter 274 of the third manga series, Baki Hanma, son of Oga, during the big father-son fight, we get a few panels dedicated to her talking about Yujiro. For example, we cut to her as she reveals that she stopped being his mother because he was such a great vessel, something much more than me. He extorted his own mother into breastfeeding. You could call him a disgusting being. I am completely dedicated to being a priest, so I will never reply to that. But Buddha and his son should of course never fight. The first thing that you should absolutely know is that he is an extremely dark man. This was a pretty strange and ominous scene which highlights who Yudra is and what happens to the people around him even his own mother. I would like to learn more about her in the story at some point. Of course, a whole flashback about Yuchiro Hanma where we also get to learn more about her would be great. Hopefully this is in the main manga, but even if it was a side manga, that would be great as well. Please give it to us. If you didn't miss this reveal, shout out to you. Let me know down below how many you get at the end of the video. Katsumi's brother. As we know, Katsumi was adopted by Doppo Orochi from the circus when he was quite young with his biological mother making an appearance before his pickle fight. Over the last few years, a new side manga has begun for the Bucky series, entitled Bucky Gaiden Yurenchi, which actually follows the story of Katsumi's older brother, Mumon Katsuragi, with this taking place before the main events for the Bucky series. I think it's definitely worth checking out, as it's probably one of the better side mangas, and is still ongoing to this day, with 11 chapters released. Amazing art and pretty much overall great story so far. Musashi vs the Yasha Ape In chapter 121 of Baki Dao, in the middle of Musashi's fight with Pickle, he is facing a beast who just entered his transformation, reminding Musashi of his time slaying the great ape of Hinda, which is very clearly just an ancient version of the Yasha Ape, a pretty cool side reveal out of nowhere. For number 4 we had the last appearance of Jack's mother, we all know what Yudro did to Jack's mother during the war, that of course resulted in the birth of Jack. However, that wasn't the last time we saw her in the main series. In the final chapter of Grappler Baki, after Jack was defeated in the Maximum Tournament by Baki himself, he went to face Yudro with all of his injuries and naturally got destroyed. We then shortly cut to Baki, who is watching the security footage of the fight which reveals that an ambulance randomly showed up to save Jack, with Jack's mother appearing here. This is unfortunately the last time we get to see her in the manga, meaning it's been over 20 years of serialization. However, since currently in the manga, Jack's arc is here, and we could get a proper fight between him and Yudro. Her making an appearance once again would be very cool and is a very high possibility. Jack vs Katsumi so this fight has never actually happened in the main manga, but a special anniversary chapter was created by the author of this manga, which shows a fight between the two, with it looking like it takes place sometime during the second manga's arcs, this is just for reference. However of course this isn't canon to the story, just something cool and pretty badass to see, with quite amazing and unique art. For number 6 we have the first appearance of Motobe, did you know it was in chapter 3 of the manga, the first manga? During Bucky's fight in this random tournament against Sudo, we see various famous people in the martial arts world, and two labelled as independents, with our boy Motobe making his appearance very clearly here, and even shortly claiming, fights amongst children, I can understand without needing to look. Man was honestly a menace since the beginning, also side note, some people claim that this is Gaia, but we don't have any confirmation for this and considering his character design I would say it isn't unless of course major changes actually occurred but who knows. Dorian appeared before the death row inmate arc, pretty much he was foreshadowed in the maximum tournament, getting a showing of his insane cave feat and even some bonus stuff in the original anime. I would like to consider him the main prisoner of all this, as he appears in three arcs, the maximum tournament in the form of a moody flashback or foreshadowing scene, 
during of course the death row inmates arc and even after that during the Chinese tournament which is of course pretty cool I guess that Kai Cloud actually helps quite a bit. For number 8 we have Yujiro teaching Bucky about sumo. In the most recent Bucky series right before Bucky's sumo tournament fight we got a flashback of him when he was very young getting trained by his father who actually demonstrates sumo to him with Bucky's hair being black in this scene here. If you don't remember in Bucky's flashback his hair was actually orange but this was an even younger Bucky which means Yumo was on that sumo grind very early in Bucky's life. Out of the most evil death row inmates one of them was actually the person who killed Kozue's father it was Yanagi. This was also revealed and kind of shown in the Yorenshi side manga with him being a certified beast as well. Something very cool to understand more about the lore of the Bucky world. Once again highly recommend reading this side manga. Now before I get into number 10 make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Bucky content on this channel and if we manage to hit 5k likes on today's video I'll release a part 2 of things you missed in Bucky. Of course there's much more with a series spanning over a thousand chapters. Now for the final thing you missed we got Oliver vs Pickle. Well not a full fight in the manga. During Pickle's final fight with Bucky we have Bucky think about what would happen if some other physically strong powerhouses faced him. Getting this panel of how their fight would have began from Bucky's perspective. Of course I would love to see this in the manga at some point fully fleshed out. And since in the most recent chapters for the manga we got the longer rated return of Pickle with a full transformation. And Oliver recently got stronger and defeated Tsukune in a rematch. I think them two facing one another will be the perfect opportunity and would be very badass. Which of course leads us into something I've got a few comments about on other videos. When the Bucky manga is actually going to return. For that I have no idea there's no official information currently out there. The most recent chapter was the official end of Bucky Dao 2018. So when the manga does return it will be under a new name and if you look back at the past of Bucky when he actually finished a manga like this there's normally quite a big break sometimes half a year even so don't get your hopes up however considering the new anime season is coming out in less than two weeks we could expect maybe a chapter coming out around then considering all the hype for Bucky around that time that will be perfect marketing if I'm being honest especially with the return of Pickle and what Jack's currently doing. That's the smart move but honestly we have no idea. It could be like a year for all we know. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Check out all the other stuff in the description if you haven't already. And of course shout out to these mad lads who support the channel via the Patreon. But that's it guys. Peace.